Hey everyone, it's Travis here from My Connectivity, and today we're going to show you how to use your MIDI 4 um, with any DOS, specifically with Logic, as I've had some requests for that, and basically just setting up um, any like keyboard with it um, to use as a controller. So let's get right into it. So on the back here, as far as connections go, we have a USB 3 on the back. It's connected to my Mac and the host port, which is USB A. Let's hook to this attachment fab over here. Then we have uh, the MIDI out of the Novation right here, this white cord. It's going to MIDI in on the on the actual device. Then we have MIDI in, which is the black cord on the Novation from the MIDI out. So basically, we're sending out of the keyboard into here, and then we have the other option on the black cord coming back. Um, so that's basically your setup. I had two more USBs plugged in here, one for the iPad and one for a PC, but we're not gonna bother with those today. So let's jump into iConfig. So we have our, you know, there's a link in the description to grab iConfig if you haven't used it before. So MIDI 4, we're gonna jump right to the MIDI info tab. And I'm gonna scroll down and we're actually gonna look at, um, so the very first USB port, the Akai. So we're gonna reserve this in here. If you have multiple devices hooked to a hub, you're gonna to wanna to reserve the device so they always show up in the same spot. And you can also rename. There we go. When we rename there, if I go over to MIDI port routing, you're gonna notice, I'll make this a little smaller. There we go. The LPK25 right here is named. So the reason I just got kind of minimized these is because if you look at it, DIN 1 goes to DIN 1. DIN 2 against the DIN 2. That's basically your default routing. That's really what you want. Um, and actually, this keyboard will, as soon as I open Logic, will actually work right away. Um, both these guys, if I actually do that. Um, but I like to go through the writing just to kind of show you um, what's up with that. So we're going to go to our controller over there, the little guy, and we're just going to actually have that only control this keyboard. Um, so basically we're taking the USB into the host port and then we're going to use um, this MIDI out of the box to the MIDI in of this guy. So it's going to tell this guy what to play and then that's going to send it back to the box and then to USB. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not actually as big of a deal as you think. So we literally need one routing for this right now. And we just need this guy to go to here. That's it. Alright, and then we're going to go to the DIN 1, which is this guy right here. And we're gonna get rid of a lot of these extra writings. Obviously, we don't wanna to send to any of these extra guys right here. And we don't wanna send back to the host port because if we send back, then we're just gonna go keep going back and forth between the two devices, which will cause a weird loop. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get rid of those DIN ones. So we're just gonna send to all the USB devices, so the computers. And that's pretty much it. That's all we're gonna do in here. We can go to device, save current settings. Yes, now it's saved in there. Let's go to Logic. All right, we're gonna create a software instrument just to keep it simple. Audio is gonna come out of my Audio 4 Plus over here, um, one and two, so let's create that. I'm gonna grab a sound real quick. And I'm just gonna grab this little pad sound. By default, should start playing. And same thing with this guy over here. What's interesting about this guy playing is that it's actually playing to this because remember I took out the routing to the computer directly from this. So this is actually playing into this and then back into the computer, which is fantastic. This works great if you have a controller and then you play a synth. So say you were wanting to use this keyboard and you had like a bunch of modules, so like a Nord module and you just sent to just that module. Um, and then recorded the audio. It's a great way to do it. Um, another thing to do is if you have multiple, um, you shouldn't, if you have multiple different instruments that you want to like modify and you have multiple keyboards that you want to control individual instruments, so you don't want this guy controlling the five different keyboards that you have there uh, or the five different sounds that you have in Logic, then what you're going to want to do is go to Window, MIDI Environment, you notice I'm on the mixer tab here. I'm gonna go new and open up the physical input. Now what this is gonna do, this little box right here, 
actually shows all the connections that we have um, from our from our device here. And if I had more devices, it would show it. it even shows some of the audio um, audio four ports right now. So if we actually go over, we could actually grab DIN one right here, grab this little guy, and we could just drag it directly to dark pad. Now if I had another one set up, say I had a second keyboard or something like that. You can see I actually have this selected right now, but it's not playing it. It's only playing that first keyboard. And the reason for that is because I've mapped it specifically just to that keyboard. Now I could map it to all the sounds, but that is not what I've done. Um, so if we had a second keyboard, say we had it on DIN number two, we could take DIN number two, drag it over to that, and it would actually play. And this still plays only that first one. And so that's how you can kind of differentiate between the different devices. And that should help you out a lot. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments um, or send us an email through support. All right.